Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Lamentum. Last time we left off, we were here in the lab and I think we have everything that we need now. So that is good. So let's go ahead and get out the salt and this. Now, Garregia fuming solution, mix common salt with oil of vitriol, heat and shake. Okay, so let's go ahead and combine you two. Is that not. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, so maybe we do have to do it over here instead of combining it in the menu here. So let's construct our Bunsen burner and everything. There we go. Uh, put that in there. Put that in there. Yeah, there we go. Heat. And it says shake after. So we've heated it. And we got to add like water or something to it too. Do I not have all the ingredients yet? It looks like water of some sort back there. It doesn't even really look like it's heating, to be honest. Hmm. The question is, if I go out of this menu, does this all stay here, or do I get it back in my inventory for some weird reason? I do. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny and awkward. Alright, uh, highly encouraged solution for by a mixture of salt and acids in correct proportions. It must be handled with extreme care. It comes in contact with skin and cause burns. Yeah, all compounds are in the basement warehouse. Common salt with oil, vitriol, heat, and shake. Add strong water to the mixture and filter. So maybe we don't have the strong water we need yet. Maybe that's a thing, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna work on this stuff some more. We do have a lot of other places we can go investigate. In fact, a commenter told me that I may have missed something where in, in the, uh, uh, what's it called? The secret passage. Um, so let's go here, and hello, let's go through here, and I do remember where the item is, let me actually see, oops, I, I, don't, I don't want to take damage here, but let me pull the comment up, so uh, I can actually see who uh, gave me that tip, so, comments, yeah, so, Basile Brez, I hope I'm saying that right, <laughs> I'm probably not. But, uh, yeah, thank you for letting me know, because you also provided a timestamp, which is very helpful. So, it's... Oh god, are you still in here? Oh, no. Okay, that item might have to be... <laughs> I didn't know he was still gonna be in there, though. <laughs> and I take damage just by stepping on the... <sighs> Maybe we should try it? I mean, I just saved. So... Oh god, yeah, you're still in here. Okay, okay, no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. That item, hopefully it's not something too important, because... Yeah, he's still, uh, he's still creeping around in there. Alright, so... We've done that root key door. We've done that root key door. Um... Let's see, we've done that stuff. Yeah, I mostly just need a new key now, like a moon key or something, right? Of course, there was the garden, but we didn't. We need the moon key. And there was nothing else we could do in the library because we need to solve that puzzle to get by there, so... We might actually be in the correct spot now. So let's, uh, go see what's going on up here. Uh, oh, damn it, I put the key away. I put the key away. I remember that now. Alright, uh, yeah, I did not realize Spider-Man was still gonna be down there. That was terrifying. <laughs> I just walked down and I heard the music still, and I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I didn't kill him. And he didn't just leave. He's still just trapped down there, so... Whatever that item is, I hope it's not important. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I have left the mansion again. It's still raining, like when I arrived at Grawl Hill. How long have I been here? No, there is no time to think about that. I have to find Alyssa. Alright. Box is full of fertilizer. Okay. When am I gonna hit the thing that requires that I 
burn some metal, huh? What are you? I don't like the look of you. Uh, I hit you and... Doesn't look like it actually did any damage to you? I'm not sure. Maybe you're invincible. You're like a weird... You're like, you're like a corpse that's been taken over by like a plant. But you do still die. <clears throat> so there is that. Can I have the rake as a weapon? What is this? Laudanum. Alright, I don't think there was anything else hiding around there. What's, what's in here? Okay, cool, it's a safe room. We got a shovel. Ink. This year the lilacs are growing beautiful. I'm sure the Count will be delighted. However, I cannot get rid of the weeds that grow next to the hedges. Maybe I could use strong water to burn them? Ooh, this is strong water we need, yes! Okay, I know Lord Steinrot makes chemicals in the basement lab. I have used strong water. I shouldn't have. The smell is irritating. I'll put it in a jar and bury it under the boxes of fertilizer. Yes! There we go. That's what we need the shovel for. And now we have strong water. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, let's put that ink away. Put the half bottle of laudanum away. I think I'm done with you, so let's put you away. But let's keep this shovel. Alright. So, let's equip that and get back out here. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, I didn't know what it meant by strong water. I I thought strong water was just like, I don't know, some kind of water. <laughs> Boxes are full of fertilizer. That they are. Boxes are full of fertilizer. They said they buried it under the boxes full of fertilizer. And I have the shovel equipped. So... Full of fertilizer, can I push them? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, you said you buried them under the boxes full of fertilizer. But I'm not seeing a... spot to interact here randomly just on the ground. Um, hmm. Let's reread that note. Uh, I can use strong water. I have used strong water. I shouldn't have. The smell is irritating. I'll put it in a jar and bury it under the boxes of fertilizer. Maybe there's more boxes of fertilizer? I don't know. Let's investigate a little bit further here. Um, this is just another part of the garden, I guess. Yeah, Garden West. Yeah, we have West and East. Okay, so... Let's investigate a little bit. See what we got here. Uh, hi? It's a Roselia. Except a much more nightmarish one. Okay, so you do that. I don't like that. Can you not? At least there is a cooldown on when you can use it again. Gotta make sure I'm not aggroing anything else, though. Oh god. Uh, die. Uh, okay, we're good. <clears throat> I forgot. Our character's a wimp. He's like, oh no, a rose monster. I am a scared and I cannot run as fast. I mean, I, I, I let, let me be fair to him. This is probably pretty stressful. <laughs> but, uh, it's more stressful for me when you run out of run energy. While I'm trying to run away from it. That is an interesting system, though, to make running from enemies harder while also not trivializing your ability to get around quickly by just sprinting. So, it is a neat system, I gotta say. It's not one I've ever seen before, really. Got, like, a maiden statue here. Wow, this, this, this place goes a lot of areas. <clears throat> I still wish I knew how to get under the boxes of fertilizer, like... Can't you just move them, Victor? Is that not a possibility? Oh, wait, this one has a thing. Oh, it's just ammo. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be an inscription or something. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. the boxes of fertilizer. I equipped the shovel. And it basically did nothing. So... Box is full of fertilizer. Do I... Oh, wait. Maybe I swing it. Maybe I swing it. Like I use it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh... Nope. Okay. Not getting a lot of useful stuff here. Maybe it's this one. 
No? Okay. Maybe we have to move the boxes of fertilizer somehow? That's all I could think of. Because I'm like right here and there's nothing. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is I need to move the boxes of fertilizer. Because I'm trying to dig under and it's like, uh-uh. You can't do that. Alright. We'll see if maybe we can get more information about that or something. I don't know, it seems weird that there's not like, you know, once I got the shovel, there's like a sparkly or something that kind of lets me know the general area of it, because, I mean, I went to the fertilizer and nothing happened. So, oop, I just realized I let my timer on my phone go away, so I don't know how long I'm recording. Here we go. Oh, great. That's exactly what I want to see. Also a giant coffin, and there's a shiny over there. Oh, okay, we can go across the bottom here. Ink. Yeah, we have a lot of that stuff. Okay. How am I doing health-wise? I'm still pretty good. Wow, why is this one, like, lower? That's not intimidating at all. Uh-huh. We're going into, like, the catacombs? What is this? That's a big room, actually. It's a, it's a pretty nightmarishly big room. Uh, I can get to it this way as well, so I think I will try to go over here and get to it at this particular spot. Because this is a long room, so maybe there's something in here. There's another one of those plants. Not that I particularly care, because it doesn't seem like there's really anything over there. Oh, come on, the plant's all the way over there, Victor. Chill. Hi? Well, hello, how do you do? Victor, it's you. Do you know me? We all know you in Grawl Hill, don't you remember me? I don't remember anything. I woke up wounded in my room. I was all covered in blood. I had to bandage you as best I could. You lost a lot of blood. I thought you wouldn't survive. Was it you who healed my wounds? I thought it was Alyssa. Alyssa? Alyssa is my wife. I am looking for her. Have you seen her? Sorry, I haven't seen her. I didn't know you were married. I've always seen you alone in Graw Hill. Graw Hill? How long have we been in this place? You've always seen us alone. So, I'm guessing Alyssa was taken, like, right when we got here, and we've been here for longer than we thought we have, and just have amnesia about all the messed up things that we did. That's why we're finding notes from ourselves that seems like we know a lot more than we're letting on right now. I don't remember, Victor. In this place, time passes in a different way. You shouldn't be alone out here. The gardens aren't a safe place. I'm not alone. She's here with me. Can't you see her? Victor, do you want to stay with us? No. No, sorry, I'm looking for my wife. Uh, there is no one else here. There's no one else here? No, sorry, I'm looking for my wife. There's... there's no... Eh, I should probably say no, I'm looking for my wife. No, I'm looking for my wife. No, sorry, I'm looking for my wife. I can't stay with you. It doesn't matter. We will be waiting. Together. Okay. Weirdo. Uh... You do you, I guess. I'm glad I came down here because there was a character hanging out down here. Alright, so... Another plant, another plant. Another plant? Jeez. Plants are real popular right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Was this whole screen just to talk to her? And have a bunch of these plants? I'm trying to look around at as much of the screen I c as I can. It's very easy to miss stuff in these types of games because... Uh, oop, yeah, that's, that's the locked one. I usually find that when I'm watching LPs, I notice way more than the LPer, and there's actually a real reason for that now that I've been on both sides of it. Um, it's hard to tell when you're watching because you can't see where they're looking, but like, say you're looking to the right of the screen right now at that plant, 
my eyes could be anywhere else on the screen. So, like, that's that's how a lot of the cases happen where someone's like, Oh, you missed that item. It was right there. And I'm like, oh no, I did. Shit. And then I realize, oh, it's because I wasn't even looking at that part of the screen. What is happening? Hello? And we're in a hedge maze. But yeah, that's where, that's where LP or blindness actually comes from. It's just kind of hard to notice when you're watching that, um... The person LPing is likely looking at a completely different spot of the screen than you are. So it can make it a bit hard sometimes to tell if they're just like unobservant or <laughs> if they uh, just aren't looking in the same spots. Yeah. Bluey. Gotcha. But yeah, it was just something I realized um, since I've been doing LPs again now and I watch a lot of LPs as well. That, oh yeah. That is, that is, that is the case. Alright. Ammo. More of it. I am a little bit damaged. What the hell is that? How about no? How about no? Have you ever considered that? Have you ever considered just no? These plants are scattered about, it seems, just to make it so I can't run constantly. Seems to be the main point of them. Oh, that's a weird... Plant 42. Oh, you're very fast. Oh, you're very fast. I feel like I should maybe just run from you. You're something I th feel like I would need to take out with the gun. Okay, no. I can hit you. It's just, I gotta time it just right. There we go. Get out of here, Plant 42. Go away. There we go. And whatever the name of the plant was in Little Shop of Horrors. You are back. Go away. I will kill all of your children, okay? Keep sending them at me. See what happens. Keep sending them at me. They'll just be more, more monster babies piled up, alright? What a terrible parent. Go and kill this man for me, babies, for I am too lazy and scared. He has a fire poker. Okay. Hi. Yo. Okay, apparently you don't care. Go away. Uh, hi. Dude. Um, this is a very big maze, by the way. Wow, there's another one of you guys, huh? Yeah, this maze is massive. I'm totally gonna miss stuff in this maze. Jeez. Is there something like spawning enemies, or are there just this many enemies in the area? Man, it would be nice if I could map out the maze. Okay, well, there's something over there. What the hell is this now? Oh, God. Okay, and I'm pretty hurt. There's a ton of enemies in this thing. Oh, God. Dead. Okay. Go away. Kablooey. Nope. Out of range. Kablooey. Kablooey. At least the poison thing is relatively easy to kill. I feel like I'm getting close to needing to use my laudanum. Oh, well, I just used it. I just made that choice for myself because I pressed the wrong button, so... <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Alright, we're good. It's fine, I probably needed to use it anyway. I have plenty of laudanum. I don't think I should be risking it by waiting until I'm in skeleton mode to use it. That just seems unwise. Alright, so... I did notice there was an item kind of down to the south over here that I need to get access to. I'm just trying to clear these guys out as best I can. Luckily, the poison guys have like a cooldown before they can do it again. Otherwise, they would be really, really hard to fight. Die? Die. Cool. I just gotta kill this idiot. This old man skeleton. Or old lady. There we go. Dead. Alright, more children. You guys are not a problem. Alright, let's see if we can get down to that item I saw kind of to the south. Because, yeah, I don't... God, this is just such a mess. And yeah, that's where I came in. Oh, maybe we can only access it from the other door. That might be the case. Well, I've killed the enemies in here, and we've seen that they stay dead, so yeah. Let's actually take the south door this time. And see what happens there. Maybe the 
the south door instead of the north door is just for um, getting a few items. But you can't actually get there uh, unless you go through that one. Darn it, Victor. You ran like 10 feet, dude. You go away. You're creepy. I don't like you. I'm just trying to find my wife, okay? Who is likely dead at this point. Or a creepy Satan-possessed monster. You know, either one. <laughs> Whichever you fancy. Alright, so let's get in here. Okay. There's gonna be new enemies on this path because I've never actually been here before. Nothing there. Dodge that poison. Yeah, so... I think I saw one walking around up here. Anything through here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, and we can't examine these statues. Nope. Alrighty. Uh, hi. You're the one I need to kill. Kablooey. 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 Ow, you got me. Kablooey. Ow, you got me again. Damn you. Kablooey. Oh my god, you're annoying. Eh, there we go. You kinda gotta lead your hits. Ooh, I'm not doing good on health. Hopefully I find a bottle of laudanum in here. This is a kinda nasty room. It's just a big maze, there's a bunch of enemies. Maybe I shouldn't bother trying to fight all of them. I mean, that guy would have been easily dodged, and look at how much HP I've lost because of it, but... I also don't want to get overwhelmed by them, especially since I can't sprint super well in this area because the plants are just scattered everywhere. And Victor shits the idea, shits himself at the idea of getting near... Like, those things, even though you have to get near them for them to actually do anything. Oh wow, you respawned. Okay. I thought you would stay dead. I kind of wished you would stay dead. Um, Skelly, can you have something for me? Poor... He has something written on his hand. Four. Okay. Okay, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Oh, great. My pen is missing again. It's my stupid kitten. He always gets up here and knocks the pen off so he can play with it. Alright, I found a pin and wrote this thing down, and I do use stupid and dumb as like a, tier, a term of endearment for my for my uh, kitten. I'm not actually mad at him, he's just playing, but... Take the ammo. Okay, so that was just ammo, but I did need this for the code. Whatever this code may be and whatever the hell it's used for. I can't believe that giant Plant 42 monster I killed respawned. Screw that thing, jeez. Okay, so at least we can run back and heal up. Because I definitely need to. I think this is the most healing I've ever needed in the entire game. <laughs> Which is, uh, no bueno. Oh god, that, that zone is big. Yeah, we got the blood vignetting on our screen. That's usually my go-to to <clears throat> go ahead and heal up, as long as I have the items needed. So, let's go ahead and get out of here. And heal. We have a ton of laudanum, so it shouldn't be an issue. Although I'd prefer not to use some at all, but, uh, yeah. We also have a shit ton of ammo, but I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm wasting it if I use it on a lot of the things in there. But maybe not. It also takes way too many shots to actually kill something. That's why I want to save it for bosses, because, like, it takes just as many hits as it does with, you know, like, the fire poker. So... When I have, uh, 15 shots, I'm like, no, I want to save that for a boss fight, right? Okay, so let's just get these two out and combine them. How much more do we have left? We're doing pretty damn well on laudanum, so I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, final last words. Uh, equip, drink. There we go. And let's go ahead and get another full out. <clears throat> cool, and oh yeah, I can store this. So we don't need that. Alright, so... Let's get back out there. I probably should have saved, actually. Mm. 
than a safety save. But I'm, I'm full health. Hopefully we'll be fine. And I won't have to do all this over again. I'm risking it. Once again, famous last words and all that. Okay, I don't think we need to go that way anymore. I think I've gotten everything of import that way. I still want to know how to get that strong water, though. It said it was buried by the fertilizer, but it is not. <laughs> as far as I could tell. Unless, like I said, we need to destroy the boxes or move the boxes or something. I guess I could try hitting the boxes with my fire poker, but we've never been able to destroy boxes before, so I don't see why we would be able to now. I don't know. I don't know. So, let's get out of here. Run over here. So, I just want to explore all the stuff that we can here. <coughs> Alright, sprinty, sprinty, sprinty. Yeah, let's just keep going along the top here. Okay, cool. There's something over there. It might just be a simple item or something. Half all the laudum. I will take it. Um, give me my weapon, please. Go bluey. There we go. Alright, so that's one item we got. I could, you know, methodically take out all of the plants so I can sprint when I need to, but... I don't know, that's kind of a pain. <clears throat> that just seems like a massive pain in the ass, so I'm not super enthused about the idea of doing that. Uh down here. Nothing. Alright, I'm just trying to go along the exteriors here. Oh, one of you guys. You were... Ow. Kind of annoying. I'm ignoring those guys. They're super slow. I'll just ignore him. He's fine. I don't see. If I get trapped in a corner, I'll have to fight him. But otherwise, he's not that much of an issue. I don't know how... I also don't know how far their, like, aggro range is. So, he may just lose me here in a minute. Alright, so... Hello? He's also super slow, so... Yeah, I don't know if they unleash at some point, or if they just keep following you forever. Kind of unsure about that. Uh, nothing at the lantern. The lamppost. Alright, let's just keep going to the left now. See what we can find over here. Uh huh. Another one of you guys. God, this hedge mage is massive. Another half bottle of laudanum. At least they're giving you a lot of healing items in here because they know they're like. Yeah, if you try to fight the stuff, you're going to take a lot of damage. Three. Okay. That's the other part. Three. Cool. We're doing it. We're doing it. We just need to find either some more bodies or some more stuff painted on the walls. Uh, and I'm not going to go through there yet because there's still a lot to explore here, I feel. Wait, where does that go? Okay, this leads off into a little side area. What was that? Uh, no. No is what that was. No. No. Later. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Two one. Okay, so we got we got the we got the entire thing. Uh so, four two one three. So that's what we needed. That's the code and everything. Get down here. Is that like a Satan statue? What is that? I don't like your udders. Is that your mouth or what? I don't know, man. It looks weird and creepy, though. Okay, I think we've gotten everything that we need to get here, right? Now? Um... Unless there's some kind of mission integral item hiding over here. I'm not... I'm not fighting you. Go away. Oh, there's something there. Let's see if we can grab that. Where would it have linked to? Uh, all the way over here, jeez. There's a lot of enemies, but I'm just kind of circumventing them all now. Killing them just doesn't super seem worth it. Aha, idiot. 
You can't go through walls, can ya? Nerd. Big weird utter monster. Hi! That monster better not mess with me. I'll make it taste utter defeat. And yes, that was horrible. And yes, I don't regret saying it. And yes, ten people did just click off this video. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, hi! Oh, I hate it. What? In the world, weird hermit crab lady. There's a shocking amount of enemy types in this game. I gotta say. It's shocking how many enemy types there are. Okay, I couldn't walk through that door before. Can I unlock it as like a shortcut now, please? Yes. Yes. Oh my god, and it's a safe room too. Oh wait, no, this is a different- Never mind, I'm further down is what I was thinking. Okay, but at least we got a safe room. What is this? Aha! I can do this! Four... Two... One... Oh, I already had it on one. One... Three. The axe! Is that a weapon? Oh, it is. Okay, that's probably better than the fire poker, right? Sharp and comfortable to hand. Alright. I can't sleep tonight either. The light from the lamp in my room has attracted some moths. They flutter nervously around it. Some of them get too close to the flame and burn. Why do they hover near a light that can end their life? Every night I see Edmund through the library windows. That young man, Victor, he seems very sad. I'd like to come closer and ask him what his pain is, but I can't find the strength to do it. Every night I watch from a distance, wondering how I could help him. The full moon continues to shine, and the moths continue to flutter around the flame. Maybe I'm a moth too. M. There's probably a character that's had the name that had an M name, and I'm just not remembering it right now. So, yeah. Uh, move that in there. Move that in there. I'll keep the shovel. I guess. But fire poker can probably go away now, and we can move you into our main slot. Axe. There we go. Cool. Still swings about as slow as the fire poker does, but I imagine it does more damage. I want something with better range. That's why I thought the fire poker was going to be. I didn't think you would swing it. I thought you would like... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I thought you'd probably like... Uh, poke with it? Should I save? I want to explore a little bit more. Hopefully, nothing kills me. I have a full bottle of laudanum, so... Go away. I have no time for your ass. Alright, what's in here? Can I unlock this now? Yes, cool. So this is unlocked now, so now I can safely get back over to that area. I just need to find out what's in that big room up here to the north. Which may be a boss fight? Oh, I don't like that noise. What? Mary? I told you, you can't follow me. I'll find you a safe place. Let's... I already told you I don't need your help. I can take care of myself. Huh? Why do you keep trying? Is Alyssa so important to you? I have no other option. I have to find a way to get into the library. Then go ahead. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh... This feels like something I'm gonna want to save before. Take the ink. Yeah, it's warning me, because this is like a trap area. Yeah, no. Okay. I get you, game. I get you. I'm gonna take the hints and not go in there without saving. <laughs> alright, alright. So... Let's just, uh... Sneaky doodle past you. If you don't mind. I think he does a little bit. He does mine just a teensy bit, but... Alright, let's put this in here. Um... Nope, not do that. Let's save. Use the ink to write down my thoughts, maybe it'll help me remember. Uh, oh yeah. Equip. So let's do a safety save right there. Alright. And we could end this episode off, but... I think I've got time to maybe follow up on this. We can do a little bit longer episode this time. I want to keep playing, honestly. It's... It's really fun, so let's go.
But I've saved now, so we're... Our progress is locked in. Which is nice. And we've got plenty of ink, so... It seems like it's just gonna be a trap area. And maybe once I get to the end of it, I get an item that I need. She said this is going to be fun, so... That's what worries me. Oh, yeah. And these things will push me onto the spikes. So, yeah. And this, those things, if I walk on them, I'm sure kill me. Okay. Oh, sh What? I didn't feel like I walked onto that. <laughs> I got close, I'm sure. Okay. Apparently, we need to be a bit more careful. Just a bit more careful. <laughs> That thing, like, suction cupped me onto it. It was like a vacuum. Alright. We need to walk very slow through that area, apparently. Gotcha. Leave me alone. Alright, there we go. Alright, round two. This is like a Dark Souls death run now. Simply don't the... Oh, God. I tried to lean as far away from the mic as I could there. Sorry, that sneeze came out of nowhere. Apparently I'm allergic to dying. Uh, ooh, one second. All right, sorry, I thought that was an important call I was getting, um, but it wasn't, it was just a spam call. I'm waiting on an important call, so. Okay, watch yourself going through here. I wish I could move with the D-pad here. It would give me much more cardinal directions to work with. But maybe I just shouldn't sprint at all. But yeah, that thing, I didn't feel like I was close enough to it to actually die last time. Okay, here I have to sprint. But, uh, it killed me, it did. Uh-huh. Okay. We made it. Cool. The crown? Yeah. It's the same statue that I saw in the library. This piece must be part of its mechanism. Okay, wait, so do I have to walk all the way out of here too now? You're not gonna... Give me a fast way out or anything. That's kind of jerkish. So now I have to get out of here without dying with this thing in my inventory. Which is honestly going to be harder than the other part was. Like that, I could have easily ran into those spikes there just trying to get across that thing really- or past that thing really quickly. Oh my god, I hate that. Ah, shit! Fuck! See, I- Just a slight slip up and you're in the spikes and you die. Just a slight slip up. Like, I walked to the left just slightly too much. Damn it. Damn it, that sucks. That sucks. This part's gonna be infuriating, isn't it? <laughs> this part's gonna be infuriating. I'm normally not one that likes, like, instant death traps in video games. But especially not ones where... You, um have limited saves and you have to, you know, do like a whole walk back. Uh, at least Sans dying in Dark Souls, um, like, er, not dying, but falling off a cliff. Like, falling off a cliff in Dark Souls, yeah, you're insta-dead, but usually most traps won't insta-kill you, which is nice. But these things just instant-kill me, and I have to go fast on the return trip. Out. Uh, my god, it wants me to go fast to get past these things, but at the same time I get suctioned into the spikes so easily. Oh my god. I really feel like I'm not stepping too close to them, but they just pull your ass right in. And they're rude enough to not just have me have an easy way out once I grab the crown. Oh, fuck off. Alright, we got the crown again. Now I just have to get out, which is totally the harder part here. Because it's so easy to walk into this stuff. And they 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 clearly want you to sprint a bit more the second time through. See, it's so easy because of the analog stick to kind of lean one direction. And that's what's screwing me. This is why I wish I could use the D-pad. It has more precise movement. And I could make sure I'm absolutely pressing, like, down. And not anything else. Shit. Just get me out of here. Just get me out of here. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. We're out. We're out. Huh. Oh, I hated that. 
If I could use the D-pad, like I said, it would make it so much easier because when I'm pressing down, I know I'm pressing down, not like slightly to the right down. So I wouldn't accidentally walk into the spikes for those reasons. But unfortunately, no D-pad movement option, but I carefully walked my way through it and that seemed to work. So that was one of the big parts that we needed, the crown, which we can now go place on that statue. I'm wondering if these are the main things we got to do throughout the game. Like this is it. Get the the three bits, put it on the library, and then maybe it's the final boss. I don't know. But uh, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Lamentum. And I'll see you next time for some more. <laughs>